In this video, I wanna share with you what happened yesterday. Basically, someone was able to hack into wpeagle.com, even though I thought the site was nice and secure. I've been running WordFence plugin and you know do all the other security basics that you should do to keep your site secure. Although I had forgotten to do one simple thing. So I wanna share with you what happened. So hopefully you can learn from it and the same thing won't happen to you. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. If you're not subscribed, why not do it right now? Just click on the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So yesterday evening, I was about to sit down for my dinner. It was a lovely spaghetti bolognese my wife had cooked. And just as I was about to tuck in, I got an email alert on my phone and it was an email from wpeagle.com, my website. The email was to let me know that a new user had registered on the site. So I was immediately a little bit concerned as the site actually has user registrations turned off. I put down my knife and fork and I ran upstairs to the computer to see exactly what was going on. I logged into the site, went into the users area and yeah, there was a new user there, a new admin user with a dodgy Russian email address. I quickly deleted the user and I also noticed that there were a few plugins that needed updates. So I ran those updates, made sure everything was up to date. I then dropped a line to Phil, who looks after wpeagle.com, which is actually hosted on a uh, VPS server by Spiderweb. I think I've mentioned them before. Phil quickly came back to me and said that the hacker was able to get in via a vulnerability in the easy WP SMTP plugin, which is a plugin I use so that the site can easily send email from like forms and stuff like that. So it turns out that this vulnerability came to light around March 15th. So it had only taken like four days before the hackers had found my site and exploited it and were able to gain access and basically do whatever they wanted with the site. So this was pretty concerning, even though I had updated the plugins and deleted the user, I wasn't too sure what else they could have done to the site. Luckily, Phil pointed me in the direction of a useful article, which had a load of recommendations uh, that you should follow if you have been hacked. So I went through this, it involved you know, changing all my passwords, uh, checking the SMTP password within the plugin and, and changing that to a new password. Once I'd updated the SMTP password, I tried to send a test email from the site and I got a message back from my host's SMTP server saying that I've been blocked due to some dodgy activity on my account. So it turns out that they'd been using my site for the very brief moment that they got access to send out a whole load of horrible spam emails. Anyway, I got in touch with the SMTP host and I let them know that I changed my password and fixed the vulnerability and all that kind of stuff and they resumed my service pretty much straight away. I was still a little bit worried though because I wasn't quite sure what else they could have done to the site. I mean, they could have added some backdoors, added some extra files, changed some files. I mean, you just don't know. So just to be sure that they hadn't done any of that stuff, we restored a backup from earlier that day. Phil also ran some extra hardening processes on the site, changing file permissions, that kind of stuff. Uh, and by the way, you'll find a link in the description to a document which talks all about how you can make your WordPress even more secure by changing things like file permissions and doing some extra stuff on the hosting side of things. So ultimately, the takeaway from this story is that even if you think your WordPress website is secure, maybe you're running a security plugin and you've you know got some strong passwords, that kind of stuff, if you've got a plugin that's out of date, you are at risk, especially if that plugin's obviously got a vulnerability connected with it, and it can happen fast. Even if that vulnerability was only detected a couple of days ago, that's enough time for a hacker to find your site, exploit the vulnerability, get in and do some horrible stuff. I'd love to know your thoughts on WordPress security. Leave a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, click on the eagle. If you'd like to check out my vlog channel, click on my face. It's full of videos on business and making money online, all that kind of stuff. And here's a couple of videos chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.